Hi guys, today I'll show you how to download a zip file from my blog or any other blog for that matter, decompress them and use a single SVG files in Cricut Design Space. All this using your mobile iOS device. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Omar. Now I have to say I have only tried iOS devices so sorry if you're using an Android device I'm really not familiar with them so then again sorry. Now if you're wondering why I zip a several SVG files for a project instead of creating one single large SVG file the explanation is really very simple. Working with several layers in Cricut Design Space is sometimes very confusing. Whether you're using the web-based app or the mobile app, the way the software displays the names of each layer is almost the same and it's hard to uh, see which layer is which. Now also because when letting Design Space arrange your shapes, the distribution on your mat is not always the best and rearranging them is not very accurate and you might, uh, you might end up wasting a lot of paper. That's why I arrange my cut lines in a third party software. I use Illustrator for this and that way I can group my shapes so they, pit, they fit perfectly on my paper and my mat and I can save paper and time cutting. So when downloading zip files from my blog you might get several SVG JPEG or PNG files within a single zip file instead of having to download one layer at a time. Now I've experienced as some of you might have also that working with zip files on mobiles can be a real hassle. Unlike using them on a desktop which is really not much of a big deal, working with them on mobile devices can be a little bit difficult. Now, if you want me to make a video to simplify desktop, Mac, or PC workflow to you, please leave a comment below and I'll address it as soon as possible. Now, this method I show here works only on iOS software 11 or above. So if your device is running iOS 10 or earlier, um, I have not found a way yet to unzip a compressed folder that can be rendered in Cricut Design Space. That's because all other apps I've tried put some weird code inside the file, turning them unusable as images. So if you have a found a mobile app that works, please also let us know in the comments below. Now to check which iOS uh, your device is running, just go to Settings, then tap a General, and go to Software Update. Now if your device is up to date, you'll see the version of the software installed. As you see here, mine is version 11.4.1, .1, so I'm good to go. Okay, so the apps that you'll need for this are, first of all, the Files app from Apple, the Google Drive app, the Safari web browser from Apple, and the Cricut Design Space app from Provocraft. If you are not familiar with these apps, just go to the App Store and do a search for each one of them. Just make sure the developer for these apps are the right ones. For the Files app, make sure the seller and developer is Apple, because there are several other apps that look like but don't really work for this. So scroll down and make sure the developer for the Files app is the Apple Inc and the seller is also Apple. Now the Drive app is from Google Inc. The reason I use this app is because you can also install the desktop version on your computer and that way all the files will sync automatically allowing you to work seamlessly between devices. That means that all the files that you upload on your phone will be later on a folder on your computer automatically. If you have followed my blog for long, maybe you remember the downloads for the projects were originally done directly from the web-based Google Drive account. They still are my Drive Cloud, only now I provide a direct download link that works a lot better and for most of you skips the need of figuring out what to do to start the download. Now in order for the Drive app to work, you'll need a Google account. 
A Google account is simply a unified sign-in system that gives you access to Google products. Those products include Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Sheets, among others. We will only use Google Drive for this tutorial, so there's no need for you to worry about other apps at this time. One thing that I also consider an advantage of using Google Drive is that you can associate any email address with a Google account. To do this, just go to accounts.google.com and create a new account using your current email address. Now to create a new Google account, go to accounts.google.com and here you can enter your um, email if you already have a Google account and if not, create a new one. So click on create account and here you can enter your last name, your first name, your username if you have a Gmail account. But if not, click on use my current email address instead. Here you can use an email address different than a Gmail and um, you can use Hotmail or AOL or whatever um, email address you have and add a password, confirm it, and click on next. If you've done everything right, you already have a Google account that you have to enter once you open the Drive app. Okay, so once you have everything set, uh, the first thing I like to do is create a folder on my Drive account to keep everything neat and organized. So open your Drive app and tap the plus sign on the bottom right corner, that blue one that you see there. Here you'll be prompted to create a new folder or upload a file using your camera, etc. In this case, we will create a new folder. So tap the new folder icon and name this new folder. We will use awesome SVGs as the, na as the name of that folder. However, you can name it anything you want, it really doesn't matter. It is also a good idea to create subfolders inside this one to keep all your projects separate if you want to. Okay, so once you've done that, go back to your main screen and open the Safari web browser. It is very important to use this browser to open the file because it's the only one that works. Google Chrome and other browsers do not do the job and instead you'll get a download fail message that no matter how much you retry it'll never start downloading. So open Safari and go to awesomesvgs.com and here you'll find the mobile version for the blog. So select the post of your choice and for this tutorial let's download the zip file for the auto rising flip top cardboard cricket tool wallet which is my latest project. Once the post opens, scroll down and you will always see pictures with the details of each project and useful tips that I sometimes forget to mention while doing the voiceover, so always check them out. Further down, you'll see a section where you can leave a donation. And further below, you can check the supplies I used in every project with links to the stores that will also support this blog. Finally, you'll see a picture of a cloud with an arrow pointing down that you must tap to start the download. You'll be taken to a new window where you'll be prompted to open in some random app first. And this will be obviously different uh, in your device depending on which apps you have installed. For the purpose of downloading it to a known location, tap more. You will be taken to a menu selection of different apps that can be used for this purpose. Ignore all the colored ones on the top row and select the gray one in the bottom row that reads Save to Files. Remember, ignore all the colored ones. Next, and again, depending on the apps installed, you might see different options. But if you installed the Drive app, you should see it here. So tap the arrow to the right and the newly created folder should show here. If not, just wait a bit for it to load. Sometimes the server takes a while to uh, load your newly created folder. Select that awesome SVGs folder that we just created and tap add on the, right, on the top right corner. And that's it. Your zip file has already been downloaded on your drive account. 
It's a shame that there's no message telling you so. So for the next step and also to make sure the download has been prompt performed correctly, open the files app, tap the drive location, select that awesome SVGs folder and your zip file should be here. If not, wait a couple of seconds for the server to respond. And if you still don't see it there, repeat the previous step. Depending on how big the file is, it might take a little longer to load, so be patient. Next, tap the zip file and you'll see a new screen with a zip icon and the words of preview content under, underneath. Tap the preview content and voila. This zip file in particular has three SVG files inside. On the top line says one of three, and if you swipe to the left, you'll see number two and then number three. Here, you can also zoom in and see the design of each SVG directly on this app, which is really, really cool to me. This app allows you not only to see the content up of a zip file, but it's also an SVG viewer. Is there anything cooler than that? Maybe I'm just a little bit too nerdy. Anyways, don't close this window because we will use this same interface to unzip the files to the drive account. So go back to the first file by swiping to the right until you see one of three at the top. Because it's better to do, to do this in an orderly fashion, and next tap the bottom left icon with the arrow pointing up and when the next menu pops up swipe at the bottom row to the left and tap save to files again ignore the top row any of the options in color won't work believe me i've tried them all once you select a save to files option go to drive next awesome svgs folder and tap add on the top right and there you go your first svg file has been decompressed and saved to your drive folder repeat the process for the second file so swipe to the left and tap the bottom left icon select a save to files option in gray select awesome svgs folder and tap on add and finally, do the same for the third file. Again, it is a lot faster to do this on a desktop computer, but if you are on the go and want to start preparing your files on your mobile device while you travel, this is a great commuting task that will allow you to get home and start cutting right away. Okay, so now that your files are on your drive cloud, we need to get them in design space. And this is the final step. So open the Cricut Design Space app and tap on a new project. This will erase your previous work that you were doing. So make sure to save that project first. Then tap on the upload on the bottom toolbar, select browse files, and you'll see a familiar screen with locations and the drive account should be there. Tap the drive icon and then select the folder where you unzipped the files. There should be four files here, the original zip file and three uncompressed SVG files. You'll have to do this one file at a time, so select the first one by tapping on it and then wait for it to load. Now, it's always a good idea to remember the original name of the file because unfortunately the app does not take into consideration the actual name, so you have to add it on your own. A good trick to do this quickly is to tap and hold for three seconds on the file that you are uploading and then let go. A top of row menu will pop up and select a rename. This will open a text box where you'll be able to see the full name of the file. So tap and hold on it for three seconds and then tap on select all. And when the menu changes, select copy. Then a tap on done to, um, re to keep the name as it was and uh, close that window. Then a tap on the file again, just a quick tap and a new window will, 
will open and prompt you to add the new image name. So just tap on that text box and a single menu will appear with the word paste on it. And so tap on the paste word and this will add the name that we just copied before. Finally, tap on save and this will upload the SVG file to the Design Space Cloud. From here, you can access the file from your mobile devices and also from your computer. Now repeat these steps for all three files and you're ready to make this fun auto rising flip top cardboard cricket tool wallet. By the way, I will leave a link to this project on the top, top right corner of your screen in case you want to check it out and also on the video description below. So that's it. That's how you work with zipped files in Cricut Design Space. Please let me know if you have any questions on the comments section below and I hope this was helpful and inspires you to start taking advantage of the Cricut mobile app. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. It is really encouraging to know you guys care for this content. Now, here are a couple more videos you could be interested in. I appreciate you spending time with me and remember to visit my blog for more fun and free projects. Have a great day and until next time, bye-bye.